Coucou les puces, hello my loves, marhab habibete. I have a ton of empties. So instead of rambling at you, I'm just gonna get into it. Anything that has reviews, I will leave the link next to the product name listed down below, um, but let us get into it. The first in here that I see is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. My third tube of this guy, love it. I already have another one, so it's on my eyes today. Awesome, awesome mascara, drugstore price obsessed. Uh, the second is also a mascara. It's by Hourglass. It's the Film Noir Mascara. This one I started YouTube like two and a half years ago was my holy grail mascara and I really liked it. Um, I think I've since discovered things I like better, especially as a layering mascara. I can't wear this on, this own. I, on its own. I need to layer it with something else and I think for the price point there's things I actually prefer better now. Um, so I liked it. I used it up but I won't be necessarily repurchasing it. The next thing in here is kind of sad. It's the Real Techniques um, foundation, like a complexion sponge. It's in here because, so it's ripped. It's got a bunch of rips in it, which I could work around, but it's rock solid. I used a cream foundation with it and I don't know what happened. It like, it developed this like solid lump in the middle of it that no matter how much like cleaning I did to it, like how many times I cleaned it, I got it wet. I like, I cannot bring it back to life. So. Sadly, this is Kaputz, and that cream foundation is the one by Becca. It's one of my favorites, and I use it often. So I think I may actually end up not repurchasing this sponge because of that, because I'm like, well, if I can't use it with one of my major foundations, I might as well just buy a sponge I can use with all my foundations, right? So um, this was kind of a sad, a sad little Kaputz there. Um, I have a sample of the Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay from uh, First Aid Beauty. This smelled kind of intense, and it... I don't know. I didn't. I didn't love it, so I'm not going to be buying that one. Um, this is the Pure Skin Face Cleanser, also from First State Beauty. It was fine. Nothing special. Like I enjoyed it. It was okay, but I don't know. I don't know that I would necessarily invest in it. Um, I also have the Clarins Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. I really like this, but ever since I went back to my Chanel eye cream. I like my Chanel eye cream better. Um, this is not as expensive. Like they're both expensive. This one is like less than half the price. So I kind of want to maybe repurchase this at some point, but it's not the one that I'm going to repurchase right away. If that makes sense, I'm still, I'm still a snob and I really like my super expensive Chanel eye cream. <laughs> it's the Chanel Sublimage eye cream in case any of you um, are new or were curious. I went through a two of the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lash gel, right? brow gel, clear brow gel, uh, super glue for your eyelashes, it's gr or eyebrows, it's great. I have like a bunch of unruly hairs. I already have um, repurchased this one and I love it. Uh, this is the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. I repurchased it already, it's great. It's brightening but moisturizing and exfoliating all at the same time and it smells great. Highly, highly recommend this guy. Uh, I finished the Pestle and Mortar Pure, Pure Hyaluronic Serum, every last drop. I really, really enjoy this guy. I had this in my like items I've changed my mind on. Initially it was kind of a meh, I didn't really see it. And then I understood the magic of the pure hyaluronic acid in here and I love it. Um, I'm gonna try to pick another bottle up while I'm away in the UK, hopefully at some point. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoy this. And I'm hopefully gonna get some when I don't have to pay for shipping. <laughs> uh, I went through the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. This is the little tiny one. I've since repurchased the large one love it great hydrating mist with a lovely smell so i do recommend this it's so far my favorite thing from their new line i went through a pixie glow tonic do you guys see they've changed the bottles the bottle used to be clear and only the liquid was this color now the bottle is this color kind of like the clear bottle but um this is i think my third one of these guys i have another one open um i love it it's it's amazing the effect the smell the whole thing i'm a huge 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 fan I went through a Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. I like this, um, but I don't think it does anything more than some of my favorite facial mists in terms of kind of like priming my face with a layer of moisture. So I don't think I'll necessarily be buying this one, but I did really enjoy using it. And if I got like another sample, I totally would use it as well. Um, I went through the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Spray. Also, I think my third bottle of this, I have another one, but it's my last one. Um, I think they've repackaged this and so they're launching it at some point later. I hope that later becomes soon because I'm gonna run out of it soon and I love this stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping that that happens. Uh, I went through a Shiseido Facial Cotton. I think I probably went through more than one of these, but I only threw one in here. I love these guys. I've still got like my 10 pack from when I shot from when I shopped the sale. Um, 
yeah, they're expensive, but for me, once you've gone to them, it's hard to go back. I have two uh, body creams from Le Citane. This is the almond um, milk concentrate, and this is the ultra, ultra rich cream. They were nice, nothing special, um, but I enjoyed using them. My skin's been super dry recently, so it was good for that. I went through a Bio Essence Tri Action Aqua Droplet Sleeping Beauty Mask. I like this, but I like my Glam Glow Thirsty Mud more, so I'm not necessarily gonna be repurchasing this one right away. Um, I went through the Vitamin E and Avocado Night Cream from Neil's Yard. It was great. My sister loves it. She swears by it. She always has one on hand. I liked it, but I like some of my other moisturizers. More moisturizer is the one thing that's hard to wow me. I have, as of this date, never repurchased a moisturizer. I'm always trying something new. Um, so I like it, but I don't think I'm gonna necessarily go out and repurchase a new one. I went through this um, Clean Apothecary Grapefruit Brush Shampoo. If I could find this locally, I totally would have bought a new one. I hate paying for shipping. I hate waiting for shipping. So I'm not a huge online shopper. Um, I could order this online but um, I would have repurchased it ever since I went through this. I've been using my Beauty Blender Solid as a soap for my brushes and loving it. So I think unless kind of I see this in front of me, just because this one is cheaper than repurchasing constantly the Beauty Blender Solid, um, I may repurchase it at some point is what I'm trying to say, but I'm not rushing out. In the meantime, the, the one from Beauty Blender is working really great. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, this one is sad. This one I want to try to repurchase. It's the age-defying eye cream from Manuka Doctor. The Manuka Doctor line is kind of really hard to come by. Um, my sister bought this in the UK from Holland and Barrett. Um, and if I head over to the UK, it's on my list of things to repurchase. Um, but the line is, is coming into CVS stores. It's at some CVS stores. It's online. It's on Amazon. But it's kind of hard to find the whole collection. Um, so I do want to repurchase this at some point because I really loved it and it's really affordable and it does all the kind of great things I like for like my under eye um, hydration and fine lines and that kind of thing. Um, but it's a matter of tracking it down. That's that's our big, um, this is the lid for the photo for the Smashbox water in case you're interested. Um, yeah, so the, the key will be to track it down. And then the last two things in here are the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. I really like this guy. Um, I like the limited edition packaging and um, it's lovely. I will repurchase at some point. I've been super into gels recently, so I'm not like running out right away, but I would totally repurchase it. And then I have a fragrance. It's from Maison Francis Cure de Gion, Paris. It's the Aqua Universalis. It was just a nice, clean, um, where are you? It's just a nice little clean scent. Um, Iram sent this to me actually, um, along with a bunch of other things for my birthday. So I will link Iram's Instagram down below. I like it. I would repurchase at some point. I'm pretty sure it's a pricey one, so I'm gonna have to go check it out. Um, but I did like it enough that at some point I, I probably would repurchase it. So that is it. Let me know what you guys have emptied recently. Um, I'm gonna do some points of positivity and that will be it. The first is empties. I love the sense of satisfaction of finishing an entire product. So that always makes me super happy. Um, my second point of positivity was like hanging out in bed and watching some YouTube videos this morning. It's been a while since I've got to do that. So that was definitely something that made me happy. And then my third point of positivity is I've been reading the Sandman graphic novels. I know some of you guys told me so that my camera cut me off. I realized after the fact, but I did want to tell you, let me know what's making you guys smile. I will talk to you soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind me that, remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.